It's exactly one month until we commemorate the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising, a time of difficulty and a time of heroism within the most horrible of periods of the Second World War. And the thought was, how do we commemorate this? How do we honor this? How do we remember this time? And one of the most important places is exactly here. This was the corner of the Warsaw Ghetto. We're standing exactly at the site where the ghetto would have been at a crossroads. Just to our right was the side of the ghetto. Over towards our left was the horrific site of Umschlagplatz, one of the most difficult places, a site where hundreds of thousands of Jews were taken to Treblinka and to other German Nazi concentration camps that were built here in occupied Poland and brutally murdered during the war. And this site as well is also important to me on a personal level because a commemoration was placed here in memory of Janusz Kolczak, Henrik Goldschmidt. Janusz Kolczak was famous and well known for his work in even pre-war in taking after and looking care of orphans and children. And during the time of the ghetto, Janusz stayed with the children. He had the opportunity, many said to leave, but he didn't go. And really from this perspective, the idea came to commemorate the heroes of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. And remember the almost 400,000 people who were encaptured and enslaved and placed and incarcerated in this area. And we decided that the way to remember them is by placing the two flags. One of the most famous stories of the, sec of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising was the placing of the two flags, was the flag of the Jewish people, of Israel, but also the flag of Poland. These people were proud citizens of both nations. So we decided to come back here today and place these two flags in remembrance of these people, these people who stood up in resistance, but also to remember those who didn't just fight in terms of a fighting physical resistance, but also resisted in other ways as well. Because keeping your faith, remaining a family man, doing what was right, staying alive was also a form of resistance. The fighting was constant. Every day was a fight. I'm a father. I wouldn't have fought. My fight would have been to bring a little piece of bread home for my children. This too was resistance. So we're gonna go up to the top of this building, right at the corner, looking over the area of where the Warsaw Ghetto was, and we're gonna place these flags and remember, 80 years after, as a sign of strength that we're still here and we're never gonna forget the heroes of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising.